look out the window or turn on the TV and see the world What's up everybody? It's me, Vinny. We are here with the big break and it's great to see all of you guys for tuning in. And I am here with who? Radio Riot. There you go. Let's go ahead, pass the mic, introduce yourselves. What do you do in the band and who are you? How's it going? I'm Keto or Pat. I play guitar. My name is Billy Bones. I'm lead singer and guitar player. Baby Jesus, bass guitar, backup vocals. And I'm Michael Graham. I'm the drummer. Fantastic. Well, you guys have been around for quite a while now. A decade goes by quick, doesn't it? <laughs> Go ahead, tell us the formation of the band and how you guys all started. All friends, all enemies, what's up? All right, well, um, uh, Mike and I have been playing together for uh, about since 2011 or so. We formed the band. Um, went through a bunch of different lineups, a bunch of different iterations. Uh, we've been friends since sixth grade. Um, went through a whole slew of different musicians and then we stumbled across this behemoth over here we call him Beastie um, and he, he really picked up you know what he needed to do on drums and it was great you know we never had anybody like him and then uh, went through a couple of guitarists and then we got Pat who is just amazing and uh, yeah anybody uh, 2009 we, uh, we released an EP called Keep Kilroy uh, after that, we've been doing uh, singles every month, uh, EPs, holiday EPs, and we currently have a full-length album in the works, probably about on the outside six months. Now, this competition, you know, is all about DIY, and you guys have been, you know, making a name for yourself doing it DIY style. And for this contest, what's unique about it is you have to do your own music video, and you guys, Nomad, not too long ago, you had some experience doing that. Tell us about that. You want me to do it? All right, cool. It was a rainy night. <laughs> it was a rainy night. So what we decided was um, four people in the band, we wanted to each pick a song and sort of have full control over the video for it. So Nomad was mine. Um, and, I mean, Nomad in and of itself is an interesting song because the whole thing from concept to recording to release was two weeks. Uh, the video uh, along with that was in that two-week, three-week period, right? Yeah, um, we shot it over two days. Um, first day, we were in the state game lands near Big Mike's house, and uh, really rainy night. We got all of our shots that we needed. It was great. We were all drenched. Um, and then we did the second day, the indoor shots we did at Pat's job. Uh, he works at the Newton Theater in New Jersey. We are the general manager, stage manager, production manager, just everything. You just do everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's 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 how Nomad came about. Anybody else got anything to say on that? Nice. Well, you know, on September first, the big break, we released the three items that you must include in your music video. Now, we don't want you to give a, out, you know, what you guys are thinking about right now, but on a scale one to ten, how difficult do you think those prop items are going to be? Four. <laughs> a four. There you go. Four. Four from Pat, nice. Now, being a band from Pennsylvania, for those of people that are tuning in from outside of the state, what does a stereotypical Pennsylvania band sound like? <laughs> um, metal, <laughs> typically. <laughs> yeah. Metal, typically. It's New metal, so. thrash metal, screamo, just anything metal more often. Anything you can throw a China symbol over. Um, except for us. We, we, we stick with punk. We like, we like punk, we like alt, we like just, you, you say it best, we're just all around rock and roll. Yeah. That's what we do. Greatest rock and roll band you never heard of. Very true. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Now, you guys did mention earlier that you have experience, you know, recording EPs and recordings, and uh, it's a whole different, you know, process, and have you guys tackled both styles, doing it pre-recorded or recording it live? Have you guys experienced, uh, you know, both ways? Um, most of the time we do our remote recording. It all started during the lockdown and we said we needed to do something. So we just figured it out. We, uh, he tracks his drums, I track my guitar, we just do it in, in shifts. And uh, during lockdown we were able to put out like a seven song EP cover album. Uh, we call it Quarantunes. That was kind of fun. Um, Pat's uh, very 
uh, familiar with recording in the live setting with, with his management uh, experience. Um, so we're trying that. We're trying to do some live EPs coming soon, you know. Uh, but yeah, for right now, the recording that we do kind of works. So yeah. And a lot of bands, you know, when they first start out, you know, sometimes they're like, hey, you know, we want the girls, we want the fans, you know, we want a recording contract, we want a deal, we want to go on world tours. And, you know, maybe that was some of the goals that you guys had in mind when you first started. But being an established band, you know, in the Northeast PA region, you know, what are some of your goals, you know, and that you guys want to aim for? Put out new music? Someone else want to take this one? I feel like I've been... I've been like Come on, come on, production manager slash stage manager. All right, let's go. <laughs> For me, it's about the food. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, it's, uh, hopefully, you know, get some better shows out there and get our name known and spread around more than just the PA area. Make some new recordings and get them out there. That's about it. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by here at the Big Break. And if you guys want more information about the Big Break Contest, go to thebigbreakcontest.com. Give us a like on the Facebook. And while are you there, why don't you go ahead and support these guys? Because they're pretty cool. Feeding on crowd.